so I hope you can hear me. I don't have a mic, but... And this is the first thing we do. We, I usually buy a, a yard of six colors for a six diamond star. And then I'll take uh, my three inch ruler and cut my strips. You'll need a rotary cutter too. So, and we do this for all six of the colors that we're gonna use here. So my next color would be yellow. And usually, normally, I kind of just press this out with the iron, but... It's fetch, right? I, I throw, he brings it back, and do it. So we're going to just kind of press this a little bit better. So you got your second color, then you do the same with the third. Press it out.
I don't know if you can hear the drumming, but the kids are down the hill drumming, singing. I always like to hear that. And of course, Toby. So we're done with the fourth color. This is what I think kind of takes long. Now on to the fifth color. So we're all done with our colors, and you'll usually get 12 strips to a yard. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. On my black, I got a yard and a half. So, but you usually always get 12 strips. Okay, now that we have our colors laid out, I have... Uh, numbers here for mine and then you line them up in the order that you want and I'm going to be following this pattern my colors are really similar so this will be and you can kind of draw out your pattern too if you want just uh 
make a diamond, but so this is how I do it. See, that's the reason why I cut that off. Let's see down here. And I line it up. Take the next one. And for the stars that I do, I put them every two inches. And everybody does it different. So, but I'm comfortable with two inches. And every time you pin it, it'll be on the same side towards you. And you'll see here there's a little bit of a bend to it. Once you iron that out, it'll go away. But just don't make it too much of a bend. Then you won't be able to fix that. So now that we have it all pinned up, you go to the machine Now when I'm sewing, I use a, about a quarter inch and I line my material up with this part here and that's usually about a quarter inch I believe so then we just sew it and don't pull your fabric let your machine do the work for you Okay, now since we've gotten this this side sewn up, we take out our pins. Stands by as all of the candles are extinguished. We wait here 15 minutes in the dark to be certain that nothing is burning. Then we just fold it over. You want your flap. The opposite of you. Everybody's assigned a section of the room. On this uh, one particular Christmas ball, we still fire wash. And I just kind of finger the press the, it. There was no access to the place. overnight. I came in with the cleanup crew the next morning, and the chandelier on the stage was burning. If it had been going through the night, the candles would have melted and extinguished themselves. I have no explanation for it. No one was in here. No one could have gotten in here. Okay. Even if the lights were out, the candles were extinguished. It was burning when we got here. Then we line it up again. The building has 
has over 200 year history. Uh, the town has an incredible history. So every two inches you're going to add on a strip. Whenever we make these uh, presences because they don't really seem to be out to get us. They just want to be remembered every once in a while. And if you have your strips in the order of the color you want, I just pick it from there. So remember, so at a quarter inch. Okay, so we got the third one sewn on. And we just uh, pretty much uh, follow the same what we've been doing. So we'll do the blue one. Two inches. When people ask us if it is haunted, we say, well, it's not. Okay, so now we've got the fourth it's color. It's many times it was just scare people away. Room six has an extraordinary history and the amount of happenings there that you can't really explain why that is isn't happening there. The most unusual that I found going into the room, it's the coldest room in the house, which it shouldn't be, be located on the second floor. It's southern okay, space. Okay, so if anything it would be on the third floor. And if you floor. look but uh, in this case it's a sunny room with three windows. You roughly have space. your one, two, one, two, one, two, and then your other one will be one, two. So, and we go put on the gray one. You have just very unusual feelings. It just really feels like someone's going to jump out on the stone walls. Because during the Revolutionary War, they stored the bodies under our present kitchen. Some were cremated, and it's thought that one of the soldiers who wasn't dead was cremated. Therefore, there have been uh, sightings of this revolutionary soldier stopping and just the pin it all down and sew it. It's very peculiar. At the head of the stairs is a portrait of uh, Carl's grandparents, and different people have taken photographs of that portrait. When you take photographs of it, different images have appeared. And remember, Which when you sew it, you want that quarter inch there. The gentleman You're going to sew. Sew it at a quarter inch. Uh, one time they had Inca stay in room six, and they wanted to see if they could stay there with their daughter, because she'd gone into those stores and she was just parking. Okay, now we have five colors on. So now we're going to put our sixth and last color on before we go on to step three. And again at two inches. And then pin it down and sew at a quarter inch. Okay, so the next step would be is you take your ruler and your cuttery, rotary cutter and 
on this cutting board there's angles. There's a 30 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, and a 60 degree angle. So you want to line your fabric up. And you're going to cut at the 45 degree angle, which is this angle. See, my ruler is a little bit short, but I kind of eyeball it that way. You want to press down hard enough where you cut, otherwise you have stray. So that's a 45 degree angle there, and what I usually do is, since I don't have a big cutting board, I just kind of fold it in half and use my ruler. Make sure it lines up good. row of diamonds. And out of your strips, you'll usually get Eight, eight or nine of these strips. So, and then you just keep cutting three inches. Okay, so now we've got all of our strips cut, and if you see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have to have eight of these. So if you get an extra one, that's fine too, but you must always have eight strips. And then we just set those aside and we start on our next one. So if you remember, our first color was red. So our next color will be, we start with yellow. 
And we just do the same thing what we did earlier. Line them up. So we just follow the sequence of our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is number two, number three. Two inches. And pin. Okay, now we've got this lined up with the second and the third color. And if you look there, I have my colors. So we'll use the fourth color, which is blue now. Okay, so now you have your uh, one, two, three, four, five. You have five rows of strips, but you have to have six. So, see our sequence, if you can see. Our sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be the sixth color, but we didn't use this. We started off from two. So, what you do now is you start reversing your colors. This is the sixth color, so this you reverse it to five. Because you always have to have six colors here. And this is what starts building up your star, your diamonds. Go ahead and pin these ones and sew them at a quarter inch. Okay, so now that we have our strips all sewn together, see it would be two, three, four, five, six, reverse five, and that makes your six. So then remember, we cut at a 45 degree angle. Just flip it over. Cut three inches across. And I always prefer to have this flap down.
and make sure it's always lined up here because that makes a big difference when you're piecing your strips together. Okay, well I'll go ahead and finish cutting these, but I can show you how it's going to start turning out. I'm going to go to our third color, which is white, and then we just continue on doing the same thing that we have been doing. sequence And we sew it quarter inch. So now that we've got that sewn together, we just add on the next color in our sequence. And pretty much uh, doing the same thing. Okay, so now that I've gotten to the last color in my sequence here, which is black, that's number six in my row here. So we start reversing our colors again. So it'll be gray, blue, white, and so on. And then you'll have your diamond done. It takes six rows of each strips. So one, two, we're working on three and then that makes the the diamond here. So I'm going to pin this down and sew it a quarter inch. So now we've got the third row done and then we'll be starting on the fourth row which will be the sequence of color will be the fourth color which is blue. So you've got your fourth color laid out and then you want to put your fifth color and 
pin it. Remember, every two every two inches is where you start your next color. Here. So we'll go ahead and pin that and sew it up. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, got the fourth row of diamonds ready. So we have to uh, cut them. And remember, we're cutting on the 45 degree angle. So that would be this line as it comes out. And I don't have a long enough ruler, so I just kind of improvise and eyeball the other end. Remember, the black is the sixth and last color in your sequence, so then you start reversing your colors. And then I just fold it over and line it up. And remember, we have to have eight of these pieces out of the whole strip. Sometimes we'll get nine, but you have to have eight. So we'll go ahead and cut these up and get the next row of diamonds started. So we're on our fourth row of diamonds. We'll need two more like this in order to start step two. Okay, so I went ahead and did our last two rows, which were these two. And now we have our full diamond. So, the next part will be part two, where we start putting our rows together. And remember, you have to have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each row has to have at least eight. Eight strips. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. Sometimes you'll come out with the extra strip, but that's fine because you can use it for your borders or something. So that's all for part one.